Hey everyone, what is going on? Elvis here. Today, you guessed it, we're playing some Diablo 2. The resolution will go back to normal pretty soon. Uh, let me just chuck on uh, a different background here. So yeah, it's been 15 years since this game came out. I grew up playing it. We all love it. Let's get a nostalgia hit. But first of all, let's have a look at the classes that we got back then. My goodness, the Amazon. Very cool. The Assassin. The Necromancer. Crowd favorite, I think. The Barbarian. The Paladin. The Sorceress. Come on. And the Druid. Last time I played this was with the Druid. This time I'm actually going to go with the Assassin because she is my favorite character. And yeah, so let's name my hero Elvis. And let's get into the game. So here we are, guys. Let's rollerblade our way to uh, Akara. <laughs> Look at this Not shit. Here. Oh my goodness. I've got a lot of great memories with this game. So it really does... It does feel good to jump back onto it. Now let's do our first quest, The Den of Evil. Yeah, The Den of Evil. Very similar to Diablo 3 as well. Fuck, it's been a long time since I've played uh, the storyline in that as well too, but... Anyway, anyway. You guys remember these things? Fallen? Yeah, I do. I definitely do. They probably look a little bit familiar if you played Diablo yeah, 3. This is that's where they're from. So anyway, let's get, the, get rid of these quill rats. And yeah, we're trying to find this cave. We can't follow the footpath, but I do want to walk around a little bit more. And just pick up some some gold and stuff. We've got some mana here. What's this? Re uh, refilling shrine. It's going to refill all of my stats. Don't really need it though. Uh, here's another refilling shrine. And we got a gem and a cap. So, let's chuck on our caps. Automatically equipped. And <laughs> we uh, No, I'm going to keep the gems. I'm going to keep the gems. So, yeah. Let's just use this. Now, in Diablo 2, in case you didn't know, there's this thing called stamina. And it's this here. It's basically how long you can run for. And it's kind of a pain in the ass. When you get to end game, it does go away, but it is a bit of a weird mechanic at the start. So I will have to kind of uh, do some stuff around that. Okay, we got a new sword. There's a stamina potion. I'm going to pick that up. Like I mentioned, I will probably need it. Come here, you little buggers. We got this item here. So this also is something you're probably not familiar with. And this is a potion. You equip it and you can throw it. There's 18 shots in it. I need to be level 6 to use it. It's actually a, a different type of weapon that's not in the game uh, in Diablo 3. Anyway, so here we go. We got a brand new level. What I'm actually going to do here is put some points into strength. The stat system's a little bit different as well. You do have to allocate them. And let's choose our first skill. Now, we can go a couple of different ways here. I'm going to go traps, though. It just makes the most sense. So let's put on our new skill here, Fire Blast. Sounds great. Let's Fire Blast these guys. <laughs> I love that. Ah, it's awesome. Alright, quest log. Kill all the monsters in the den of evil. Sounds good. Got some big ass yetis here. Another fluming potion. And get this gold. We will need the gold. Definitely. So we have to kill every single one of these guys. Not even a single monster can be left. And I have to say, like, if you've ever played this game, who remembers multiple occasions trying to find that one fallen that got summoned? He's like hidden in the back of the shadows somewhere, like re-summoned by one of these guys. Anyway, let's grab these gloves. They should auto-equip. Okay, pretty good. Cleared this bit. Anyway, let's have a look. So we already had a pair on. These new ones are better. Let's go and swap these around and chuck these off. Let's have a look at this sword, by the way. Oh, oh it is... Not quite as good. We could put a gem in it though to make it even better. Let's do that. Um, just for the lols. I will be keeping my gems though, but just so you guys can see. So yeah, I've equipped this gem. Yeah, it does poison damage. That's why the monsters go green. Not a lot of poison damage, but enough. Uh, who cares about that buckler? Oh, we got a lot of guys over here. Let's do a, let's chuck some of our uh, fire blasts. Uh... <laughs> I don't know what happened there. None connected. Hell yeah, that AoE. I really need a mana potion. I think I picked one up earlier on. Yeah, I definitely picked one up. 
Let's go ahead and use it. And a normal potion too. Now there's also a thing called attack rating in this game. Which is really different. It was existent in Diablo 1 as well, I think. Although I feel like it was built in and wasn't an actual stat. Correct me if I'm wrong, but anyway. What attack rating is, is yeah, you can actually miss enemies based on your attack rating. And the enemies can as well. Let's grab this potion. We already got a cap. And we got a brand new level up. So let's just clear this guy. And a stamina potion. Awesome. So I'm going to put a couple more points into strength here. I will need to get a certain amount of strength and dexterity to use items. Ah, oh, they just keep coming. Stop summoning them. There we go. There we go. Great. Look at this. We're on the roll right now. What is around here? Okay, here's the uh, here's the boss. The corpse fire. Completely failing with that blast. I'm going to try and uh, use all my bullets first. So I'm going to try and use all my fire blasts first on him. And uh, let's long shot him like this. <laughs> yes, it's hitting him. Okay, that's enough. We're completely out of mana now. So this is an elite pack, by the way. Oh, he's got special hit, I think. Yeah, he always, I think he always has special hit. This particular guy, anyway. Fucking hell, die. There we go, he's down. Let's have a look at the loot that he's got. After I finish clearing off. Uh, some of his buddies over here. Okay, we got a yellow dagger. Great. Some potions. All this stuff is good. We want all of it. And I'm going to uh, identify this dagger in a second. Let's just kill this summoner first. So when we're pretty much cleared this place. We've got a little bit more to go just up here. And that's it. Pick up this gold. Okay, let's have a look at this dagger. See what it's all about. Two to six damage. A uh, little bit more attack rating. Poison damage. Black damage as well. That's it. It's uh, not quite as good as ours. And we're going to get a quest log that's going to jump up soon. And just let us know that there's only a couple monsters left. Okay. Oh, we got a blue wand. They're really good. This is going to give us lots of gold, hopefully. If it identifies well. And a normal wand as well. Yes. If it's good. Uh, yeah, it's not bad. It will sell, at least. There we go. Quest log, one monster left. Remember what I said earlier? There's like one monster you got to try and find. I bet it's up in this corner, the sneaky little bugger. I bet he is. Pick up all this gold that we missed. May as well. Come on, where are you? Swear to God, there he is, you son of a bitch. Look at you filthy zombie. I'm going to use all my shit on him. Just to make him pay. And there we go. We have cleansed the den of evil. Quest log, return to Akara. Rogue's test is done. Okay, so return to Akara for our reward. But what we're going to do is get the waypoint and waypoint back. Just to avoid running all the way back. And it is just up ahead here. Hey Flaffy, what's going on? Take care. The corrupted rogues in the wilderness ahead are not to be trifled with. Very, very interesting. Okay. Let's go back and get our reward. Now you have to actually activate waypoints in this game to use them. Which is something that hasn't been in video games for a long time now. So anyway, let's see what Akara has to say for doing the Den of Evil. The Den of Evil. You've earned my trust. And may yet restore my faith in humanity. Your reward is training in the skill of your choice. Awesome. So she's given us a brand new skill. We are actually waiting. Like I mentioned earlier. But let's have a look at all this awesome loot that we got. That we can sell. Uh, I'm just going to sell all this shit. It, it does do more DPS, but I want a dual wield, so I want to find another one. But anyway, let's have a look at how much gold we got. 